welcome back to my channel i'm jen Daddy. for those of you who are new here i live with my husband michael and our girl esther and in this video i'm doing an organization series and in this video i am doing the study so slash playroom so um and this is going to be like a part one when we get into our new house i'll do a part two because i want to hang things on walls and stuff like that but i'm not going to do that here this is just going to be part one playroom slash study organization makeover let's jump into it do things half-hearted so i have a contingency plan guys i'm so tired you're gonna have to excuse me while i go yawn am i right my plan so this is the study and of course not everything's on here but i just wanted a base plan of like what I um wanted. Sorry, I just got a really nice message. Um, <laughs> so this is what I'm using. These drawers are coming today. Also, Michael's gonna come home, put them together, and as I said, this is gonna be epic. Gummy fuel, of course, can't go on without it. <laughs> Now, sometimes, as I'm sure we can all relate, things that do not go to plan. But I'm curious to see if these went to plan. These are huge Kmart boxes. And basically, more or less, I got these cute, what I thought were cute baskets. I'm praying that they look and are the size that I want. So let's dive in and have a look. And pray for me in this moment that I actually ordered something like I don't know if I'm the only one that does this right but when I order things online I don't measure I'm like oh yeah that seems like a good size and then it arrives and I'm like oh it's tiny oh, let's see. <laughs> the boxes look huge and they're so hard to open okay no I'm actually I think, I think I love it. Oh yeah, they're good. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Wild, wild scenes here. Okay. So these are it. Look, honestly, they're a little bit smaller than I anticipated, but I'm okay with it. Like, let's... Ugh apart like I'm okay with it for what I need them for like I'm all right with it let's roll with it <gasps> tipping check out the before so over here I'm doing paper I'm doing laminating patches laminator and this stuff I don't want to be in here these are like um art books and plastic pockets so the art book itself I'm going to keep somewhere I'm just not sure where yet and the plastic pockets are going to go in my stationary basket this little corner kind of sorted but moving on to here, I have these files, which I'm not 100% like happy with this because I only have, like I bought a filing cabinet, as you guys just seen, it doesn't fit the files in it. So I've got two in here in the bottom drawer over there and I'm going to have more files in the future because I'm going to have more kids. So we're going to transport, <laughs> transport. <laughs> Ugh. we're going to put those files into these as well. This top drawer just has like little bits and pieces of like stationery, um, receipts, stuff like that. So we'll go through this as well. And this is my nursing gear, which I definitely need a basket for my nursing gear as well. So why not just make one on the spot? Throughout this video, you're going to see 
have tubs made up. The reason why I'm redoing them is to make them more convenient, but not also that I definitely want things to be more aesthetic inside and these plastic tubs can go outside. So far, I've done a coloring in box, which just has crayons and coloring books. And I'm assuming this is gonna get very full over the years as our heart gets fuller and our family gets bigger. Um, this is just all my nursing stuff, slash study stuff, um, all my midway free nursing stuff. This, um, this is full of tape, label makers and measuring. Underneath is notepads. And then down the very bottom is like, um, just like spare stationery that we have. Little like, um, slip folders and stuff like that. And then a back brace as well because we use that one around the computer. Speaking of art, that's where I've decided to keep my um, <laughs> little display book. So every single time my nieces, nephews, or whoever draw me a picture, I keep it to let them know that it's super valued. So that's what this little book is for, if anyone was wondering, and I'm gonna pop it in the art box. The top I wanna tackle is the Chords and Text Tech Tub. Oh my gosh, what a mouthful. Um, I'm just basically going to throw all this into one of these cute aesthetic boxes and put it back in the corner and pull it out when I need it. Literally how I work and my mind is going. So that's a little bit of press, hiding that away. Um, so just for the stationary side of things, this is like a little acrylic to do this i'm gonna pop it in here because all my other lists are in here as well whiteboard marker i'm gonna pop into here with the other one the plastic slip which will go in here this has been bugging me just my usb drive is literally being thrown in here so i have a container i keep every bit of like organizers that I have and yes this is Tupperware and yes it's for onion and garlic but Michael bought me brand new onion and garlic holders and I was gonna sell this one but all of my USBs fit perfectly in there plus much more space and many more to come and they're enclosed so I won't lose them put them in there and that my friend is improvising <laughs> these are all the tubs that i've emptied but i want to give you guys a quick overhaul of what i've done so far so i have two um two baskets for files one for cords tech batteries a little coloring in slash artsy one again my nursing stuff again stationery and some home decor as well. I am going to be buying more of these baskets as I go through my organization series, but this is it for now. Now we're going to jump into um, putting together the drawers and putting together the room. So this is how my baskets turned out that we're putting together the drawers that I bought. It's currently 20 past 10, but these are the drawers that I bought for Esther. And I'm happy with how they came out. We have one more set that we're putting together now. And that'll just go next to it. And then we can start getting this room under control. So coming to the bottom of the pantry in my new place, it obviously won't be like this. Um, it will be different. But I'm putting in the cords and tech tub. And apparently a little baby too. Hi. Hi, Jiggy putting in my party like decor tub excuse me no no my spare home decor tub so the thing i love about this is that like the one i use regularly is accessible as well but it's like packed away efficiently and neat and looks good <laughs> Next one is my stationery tub. I'm also, when I move into the new house, I'm going to create labels and I'll show you guys that. But 
this is like the first of my organization series so that one's in my nursing one i'm going to take upstairs and put in my bedroom because i'm also going to do an organization series out there but because this stuff is all for uni and nursing i'm going to take it upstairs so i did have this one for art and coloring in but with these drawers i was thinking maybe of making one of these like art and coloring in so i think i might do that we'll see how we go these drawers are a bit smaller than what i kind of anticipated so we'll see the next two that i've decided to put in here are the files so we have files stationery um home decor cords and tech and in the back corner we have birthday stuff so that's that little bit done i have to organize the rest of the pantry but we'll do that in a different series or not in a different series more so in a different video in my organization series but today it's about the playroom yay playroom so i pushed the drawers together because i much more preferred this vibe okay so this is how it came out study slash playroom so we have her stuff here. I do have to fill these with toys. So we'll get to that as well. Um, I just have the bigger bulkier items over here. Obviously my desk and everything like that here. But I'm really happy with how it came out. Ideally in the future I'd like to get more of these drawers. But for now it is perfect. Guys so much for watching my first mini video or mini like clip in my organization series i'm so happy to have the study slash playroom done and out of the way and now that that's done i'm going to move into esther's room to organize that so that will be the next room that i tackle because i'll be taking toys from down from there and putting them into the um toy room so i'm going to leave that portion for esther's organization video because i don't want to take things out of her room until like i'm doing the organization like for that room otherwise i just find i'll get overwhelmed and confused i just want to tackle one room at a time and get it done bit by bit but thank you guys so so much for watching the start of my organization series i'm so so excited to bring you along on the journey and stay tuned for the next one